All right, here we go. So uh, I just got home from uh, St. John of Damascus Eastern Orthodox Church. And uh, I've been to several Eastern Orthodox worship services. Uh, I'm, um, I have an affinity for their style of worship and uh, for their historicity. You know, the sense that, um, you know, when they start to... Um, um, like the incense and you know the priest is uh i wish i knew the terms but you know and the, he's um inciting the incense throughout the room and the sense of the holy spirit and the presence and i, I just love it and, and you feel like um paul or or john or you know someone like that is going to walk in you know it's that level of historicity. So I just love them anyway, but I had never been to a Vespers service. So tonight I went to a Vespers and, uh, um, you know, honestly, I went in a little bit like I know what this is about. I do Eastern Orthodox stuff all the time or not all the time, but regularly. And so I get there and, um, I was a little late because I went to a Serbian Eastern Orthodox first and they didn't show. So I had to hurry up and find another one and get over to this one. So they had, they had just started and, uh, they were standing. And uh, they were singing these songs, these a cappella songs, um, harmonic um, a cappella songs, and it was beautiful. I grew up in the a cappella tradition, so I'm very familiar with that. I know good a cappella when I hear it, and they were and they were doing a great job. And so I'm standing there, and I'm kind of waiting to sit down, you know, kind of stand up, sit down, liturgy, song, listen, you know. And it wasn't. It, it just we stood. The entire time for a full hour, we stood, everyone. I don't care if you were 85 years old or if you were five years old. You know, everyone who could stand stood the entire service. That struck me. Um, that 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 was meaningful to me that um, they would do that and that no one seemed to complain that it was just part of it. Um, and then it's, it, it hit me about 50 minutes into it that the entire service was a prayer. Every song... Um, Every rhythmic, um, I don't, you know, leadership from um, the guy I thought was the priest, but he wasn't the priest. He was Deacon George. He came and talked to me afterwards, but he led the service because the priest was out of town doing a wedding. Um, everything was a prayer to God, and we must have prayed about everything. You know, it, it felt like nothing was left out, um, either in the songs or in him naming off all the names of people or him going through different scenarios and situations in life. And, and, you know, if you, I'm sure you've been to an Eastern Orthodox church before it is, they are all just beautiful. And, uh, um, I struggle with the icons because, um, I get it and then I don't. And, uh, but it was an amazing display of passion for God, um, through, um, the way they had decorated the inside of their um, sanctuary. Um, it was beautiful. Um, so then, um, but I was most impressed with Deacon George. He came up to me, um, pretty obvious that I'm visiting um, small church, uh, only black guy, you know, so it's kind of obvious, but I was impressed that he came to me. He uh, took time with me. He wasn't rushing. He wasn't just going through a, hey, visitor spill. I mean, he talked with me. We talked about me being a seminarian. We talked about, the connectivity between the different Christian movements and the splits. And um, he offered to continue discussions with me and I would enjoy that. And um, he didn't seem to um, lose interest when he found out I was a pastor and I wouldn't be coming on Sundays. And I, I think I'm going to go back on a few Saturdays and build a relationship with Deacon George. And uh, um, I love the historicity of the church and uh, it would be nice to, have someone like that you can talk to that has his perspective. So uh, amazing um, experience. I love it. My first Vespers, St. John, Damascus, Eastern Orthodox Church. Um, it was a great time. It was a, um, it was a long prayer, um, but it was um, packed with meaning. It was <coughs> thorough and, uh, and, and beautiful. So God bless.